Hello guys, welcome back to a new snapshot video here with Professor Shroom. Um, and I'm going to be talking you through the new snapshot 15W31A. You can go and get it on through the launcher, the Minecraft launcher. You have to enable beta snapshot modes. Um, Dinnerbone tweeted about it. A few of the Mojangsters tweeted about it. But yeah, go and get yourself the snapshot and try it for yourself. Uh, we'll jump right in to some of the... Um, some of the features here first thing i want to show is the offhand logo or offhand inventory slot and it, it's a shield logo uh, and shields aren't in this yet i was going to make a shield out of these things but shields are not implemented yet as are many things uh if you watch minecon or you follow them on twitter you would have seen some of the stuff it's not all in yet i'm going to be showing you most of the stuff that's in there may be a few things i miss but hopefully i'll cover everything um, one of the things that isn't in yet is the left-handed mode. You will be able to switch your mode to left-handed. So your pickaxe or whatever you're using will be in the other hand. If you are uh, if you want that. Which I'm sure many of you do. So let's show you this. Um, I'm putting torches in, in my offhand. And if you click F you can actually switch it. I can't use the pickaxe like this because left-handed mode is not enabled. But you can switch it. So I don't know why you'd want to switch it really. Maybe if you were building something, you put logs in your right hand and then and then stone in your offhand and you could just switch. You wouldn't have to scroll, I guess. But uh, yeah, so what you can do, you can go around and you mine your sand because everyone knows you use diamond pickaxes for sand. And then you can place your redstone torches with right click because uh, you need to light stuff up with redstone torches, obviously. Yeah, that's how Minecraft works. So you're mining your sand and you're placing your redstone torches, just like that. So that'll make mining a whole lot easier. And... It's actually a really cool feature. When you have a sword, um, you'll be able to put a shield in your offhand because they are taking away blocking with swords. At the moment, in this current version, it's in. You can block, but that's not going to be in the final 1.9. Also, they've said so far, they, it might change. So let's go through some of the arrows. I'm going to put some of the arrows in here. Um, this arrow, this arrow, and this arrow. Stand in front of it, and boom. It didn't fire. It's broken. Oh, I put a redstone torch behind it. <laughs> That'd be why. I, it didn't fire, did it? No. There we go. Um, so these are all basically just tipped arrows. You can tip an arrow with any potion in the game. So I, that hit me of speed. It still do damage, as you'll see. They still do damage, but you can tip them with anything. So this one, that was healing. I momentarily lost health. Um, and then it went up. Which there is no effect for in the top corner because healing is a sort of just instant, you know. And this one is strength, as you can see in the top corner. All I'm pointing, <laughs> you can't see. All stats are now going to be up in the top corner. Apparently, positive effects are on the top row, negative effects are on the bottom row. And then as they start to run out, they flash faster and faster until they're gone. Um, but yeah, this is really awesome. You could tip arrows with poison or. Or harming and that'll make PvP a lot more interesting. So I'm gonna show you one of the new mobs and also the other arrow that's been implemented. There are still a few more that haven't. So I'm gonna put this dude over here. And this is a mob. It looks like a block, right? And there we go. So it's firing stuff at me, which I didn't want it to do straight away. I don't So what we're learning the the range is apparently there we go. Probably sixteen blocks, I say the range is. And you can hit these things. I'll let one of them hit me and I'll show you what that's about in a minute. So I'm just making sure we only have this type of arrow. So I'm going to shoot this. And the animation has changed, you can see. But there we go. I've hit it with a spectral arrow. That's what these are called. And if we... It's opening up again, sorry. If we just come and stand behind here. You can see it's outlined. It, it didn't stay outlined for long. Let me hit it again. This would be a great shot. There we go. Yeah, it's outlined. So basically, this just lets you track anything. So you could, um, if you're playing PvP, it doesn't last for very long. I think it may be too short. You could pop out, hit someone with an arrow, pop back in. And then if they're trying to find you, there's maybe there's two ways to go. You know which way they're coming. So you can uh, be ready for them. It's very, very useful. Um, also, if you've been hit by one, I guess you you know you're glowing. So you could trick them. You could start going over this way. And then when it runs out, you go around the other way. Which, this is really awesome. I, I do like these new arrows. And let's let one of them hit me. <laughs> when it decides. I'm over here, guy. 
Right, let one of them hit me. And I'm floating, I'm flying. Um, potion levitation, it hasn't been in properly yet. It looks like I've been hit again. So they do, oh, that's more of them. They do damage. I need to, <laughs> I'm flying. So I want to fall in water. These are going to be in the end. And I'll go over where they're going to be in a second. So let's get back to some of the other stuff. Um, yeah, they're going to be in the end. And basically, they're revamping the dragon fight. When you kill the dragon, you will get a dragon head. And you can fight the dragon more than once. And <laughs> here's a cool little thing that <laughs> doesn't really do much, but it's cool. I should put it next to it. Put a, put a redstone signal next to this head. <laughs> and it does that, which <laughs> I think is pretty cool. I mean, that that's awesome, right? Um, but basically, these these are called shawkers, and shawkers or sawkers, something <laughs> something like that. And there is going to be these end cities in the end on other islands. After you defeat the dragon, you'll be able to go to. Um, and they'll be built out of these blocks. Which let me grab one so I can tell you the name. I've forgotten the name. Purpa, purpa. Sounds a lot like purple to me. Purpa what they're called i don't think there's a crafting recipe for them yet that's probably going to change um the end cities are built out of these they have these inside which obviously are disguised to look similar to these boxes or witch spawning let's make it day um yes yeah, look similar to these so you don't know they're there but then they shoot you and you levitate and then you fall to your death which is the idea and end bricks which have finally been added made just like normal stone bricks great looks awesome and this thing this thing here no idea what it's for it's called an end rod it glows kind of sparkly I'm sure they're gonna tell you some some stuff about that and if I just quickly that's not what I want to do I meant to do um game mode zero game mode one I'm, I'm really good at this game mode one um, let me just clear my inventory and I want some some of this um, I don't know if the end has been fully Im implemented yet so we're not gonna go there I don't want, oh, I don't, let's break this thing oh I'm hurting it I thought I would just it's not a block is it it's a mob so I am <laughs> takes ages um, so in on these end islands you will see stuff like this which is, is a plant. And let's get back into game mode zero. You can break it and it will fall from wherever you break it. Like a cactus, basically. This this witch is going to be a problem. Let's go back to game mode one. Um, it will drop these fruit. And these popturous fruit, I believe they're cooked. Let's get a, a fern eye out and just check that. Bop. Yeah, it looks like they're just cooked versions and you can't eat them. Which is odd. I don't know what they're going to be used for. They might be used to make these bricks. Who knows? Who knows? They are used to make these bricks. <laughs> There's something I missed. I thought I tried that. I'm almost certain I tried that. There you go. You can make these bricks out of these fruit. And then... I need more of these, just like normal. Stairs, yeah. Slabs. And pillars, are probably going to be like that. No? That's what pillars, or two of these. Yeah, there we go. So you can make all these bricks as well. I missed that. I can't believe I missed that. I'm really sorry, guys. But you can make it. Cool. Um, quickly go back into game mode zero. If you eat this fruit, it randomly teleports you. I initially thought it teleported you to where you're looking, but then I tried it again and it didn't. So I'm not sure on how that works as of yet, but it restores two haunches, um, teleports you randomly, which could be dangerous, actually. So I'm not sure if it's where you're looking. Like I said, it, I initially thought it was, but it didn't follow that. So there are a few changes to, to skeletons. Um, they are a lot more... What's the word? It's easier to tell where they're going to shoot. They have an animation um, when they're going to shoot. See, it seems... No, that teleport will be backwards. See, it doesn't 
seem to be doing it where you're looking. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, post it in the comments and then I'll put it in the description. Let everyone know. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I covered everything and we'll see you hopefully next week in the next snapshot. Goodbye. <laughs>